Flown to stride, assimilation gave away about two, two and a half length start, getting some reminders to the inside to try and make up some of that ground, and she is only three lengths off them, holds her inside position. Here is right there the early leader. Karelia's on the right hand side. Orange silks of Chevroni. And after being two and a half lengths slow into stride, assimilation scrapes paint and only three lengths off them. Cape Gray's deeper out on the, the field. Sharp Secret Race is about four or five lengths off them. Hunger Games towards the inside. Sempre, Sempre. That's got about seven lengths to make up. Gets a taste of the bit. And Noriki's the trailer. 900 meters left to go, and Karelia found the lead by one length. Orange Silks of Chevroni's right there, second. Here is to the inside, Travila. In comes Cape Gray, the favorite assimilation, waiting towards the inside. Got three and a half lengths to make up. Sempre, Sempre tries to get closer. Hunger Games on the inside, six lengths to make up. Noriki the trailer. Homeward bound, 500 to go. Karelia is in front. Chevroni in the orange silks, the first one to attack. Favorite assimilation goes down the inside. Two and a half lengths to make up. Hero to the outside. Chevroni as they come to the 300 from Karelia. Assimilation now being asked to pick it up towards the inside. Chevroni, Anton Marcus asks assimilation. Got a neck to make up. Here is on the outside. But the favorite assimilation now. Totally comes in command the last hundred and Anton Marcus starts off where he left off on Friday night wins it, Chevroni second Hunger Games in a photo doing her best work late on with Hera Odds on favourite, number one assimilation. Well done to the Robbie Hill team for Bernard Cantor. And Anton Marcus continues the trend. And as in all of her starts to date, she's been slow out a length or two. She was slow about two, two and a half lengths, but quickly got onto the inside, three lengths off them, and just too good for this field. Number one assimilation, she wins it well. Appreciated going the 1,600 metre trip and wins by two. Chevroni second. Hira in a photo with Hunger Games. Hira closest to us. Hunger Games was doing late progress. Karelia, Sempre, Sempre, Noriki further back, Travila. 300 meters to go. You'll see assimilation now. Anton Marcus asking for maximum. Sabre in the right hand. Chevroni hit the front at the 300. Had a chance, but 150 to go. Assimilation. She finds her stride and then just darts away from the opposition the last 100 meters. Chevroni staying on for second. Here on the right hand side in photos with Hunger Games towards the inside. But the favorite in the first race. Assimilation to a destination. The winner's box. Back to the studio. Oh, well done to trainer Robbie Hill. His string is in fine form, and so is jockey Anton Marcus. They've teamed up here with the daughter of DuPont. Well done to owner Bernard Canto, and uh, this filly was bred by Clava Flay Stud. She was trying the distance for the first time, and she seemed to appreciate the extra trip. You know, I touched on her pedigree in, in that parade ring preview, and I mentioned, you know, she's, she's nicely rated to horses that stay well, Robbie. Yeah, you know, most of the DuPont's funny enough sprint, but um, there's no way in the world she's going to sprint. She'd be dying for a bit of ground. And, um, you know, well done to Bernard. You know, it's an East Stallion, DuPont, DuPont's East Stallion. So well done to Bernard. It's my first horse I've had for Bernard. And um, so well done to him. And, um, yeah, if she, if she could jump, she'd be a decent filly, you know. I saw she was chased from that, uh, from that position, and um, I'm glad Anton did that because she didn't have much ground to make up turning to the straight. Yeah, you know, it's always a pleasure to have Anton on. You know, he, he somehow there he does the right thing, and um, he's written a lot of winners for me, and hopefully, hopefully may it continue. But um, touching back on this filly, if she could jump, if she, if she jumped properly, she'd be a de decent filly. But, um, you know, when you get left two and a half lengths, you dub double it. It's like getting five, it's giving five lengths to the, to the rest of the field. And um, she made it up well, won well at the finish. So, yeah, we need to get her schooled at the pens again. And we, we just need to get her to jump properly. Then she could be decent. Compliments to your team. I know you went for a bit of a break and Shannon was holding the fort. She did exceptionally well while you were away. Yeah, Shannon done a nice job, lovely, lovely job. But as I said before, I've got a lovely team at home between Shannon, 
my head groom Sam helps us out. Uh, she she's a she's the physio. So so we get a lot of um, you know. If you haven't got a team at home, you've got nothing. Well, you're going to go home with either a hundred percent or a fifty percent strike rate. What are you thinking with Salander? She's looking for a bit of luck. Well, at this stage, I'll settle for the fifty, but sure, hundred sure, sure, would sure. go down well. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's your thoughts? It looks like the right type of race for her to be competitive. Yeah, she's you know she's always competitive. She's been a bit of a bridesmaid, as we, as we all know, but um, she'll be very competitive today. Thanks for your feedback, Robbie, and all the best to your teams. Things looking good. Ah, thank you. Thanks, Steve. Lovely. Robbie Hill there and his team. And well done again to Bernard Cantor, big supporter of South African racing and, of course, champion breeders, Clava Flay Stud. One, two, six, and seven. One, two, six, and seven. A favorable start for punters again to see today at Greyville. Of course, a nice start if you're running in the bipod. Maybe you doubled up or you just anchored assimilation, and she's come through smartly. Anton Marcus has kindly excused himself and he mentioned to me that his next best ride today is no doubt Bold Inspiration that comes up in race number five for Charles Laird. Bold Inspiration, his next best. He did give a vibration, a strong winning chance, but he was quick to mention that 1914 is the horse to beat at the weights, but his next best ride bold inspiration. Coming up next will be race number two. This is the start of the place accumulator. Time to jot down there, 13.35, 25 to 2, and it will be over 1,400 meters. Let's not forget, we got a massive pick six to chase today that will come up in race number three, estimating that pool to get around 1.2 million with a carryover over 200,000.